What's happening? Henry here from Center Steel. Today I'm with Colton and we're in downtown LA's art district where we'll be exploring the Sunny 16 rule and teaching you how to confidently expose your film without a light meter, just using the most powerful light source, the sun. Let's do it. Okay, so today I got my meterless Canon P. As you can see, in LA we get bright sunny days like this frequent. Even if you're not in a location where it's bright and sunny, this method can be applied as a baseline for getting a good exposure. All right, so first let's go ahead and load up some 50D. Sunny 16 is a method of estimating good exposure when you're taking photographs outdoors without a light meter. Like the name, Sunny 16 says that subjects in bright sunlight can be properly exposed by setting your aperture to f16 and your shutter speed to the reciprocal of the film's ISO. Alright, so you see how these shadows have a sharp edge? That's evidence that it's being lit by bright sunlight. You gotta get those selfies in. Butters. All right, so right now the sun is hitting me, so I actually wanna shoot from a different direction where it's behind me. Actually looking right here in the street. Got a nice little smiley face. And got a little bit of cold and shadow in there. Got him. All right, so we're still shooting at F16 at 160th. Oh, look at this here. Like the BWXX video. I gotta get the shoes on the line. Gotta get the kicks. Got him. Still sunny 16 at 160th. All right, so this 50D will shine with these colors right here of this and it, oh snap, this 50D. <laughs> All right, so this 50D will shine with these colors right here, this yellow pan advance thing or whatever it is. So it's in direct sunlight, so I'm gonna still shoot it at F16 at 160th of a second. All right, so don't trip about the term rule. It's more of a rule of thumb. The Sunny 16 rule applies to more than just shooting at F16. Check out this shot. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna blur out the background a little more. So we're shooting this one at 5.6 at 1 500th of a second, which is the equivalent of F16 at 1 60th. So we got options. All right, so I definitely want to shoot a few more frames with the shallow depth of field. Luckily, I got my homeboy, Joe, up here. What's up, guys? He's here to support and sit in for a few portraits. The good thing is with Sunny 16, you don't have to stay there. You can actually choose an equivalent aperture and shutter speed. So in this case, for blurring out the background, I'm going to open up to F4 and then shoot it at 1 1,000th of a second, which is actually the equivalent of f16 at 160th of a second so let's do it so i like this little spot over here with the rocks yeah and the cactus i want this background as blurred out as possible so that's why i'm going to shoot at f4 at 1 1000th of a second and then i'm going to actually have you come a little closer to me and then have you kind of bend down this way let's do one more Bro, I'm gonna have you right over here. I'm gonna have you square up with the cactus, kind of looking over the shoulder. Yeah. I'm gonna have Joe post up on this uh, this beam right here, but I'm gonna change the settings because we've been at f4 at one one thousandth of a second. So now I'm gonna shoot it at f5.6 at one five hundredth of a second, which is also the equivalent of f16 at one sixtieth of a second. All right, so let's go ahead and get this shot. And then you kind of look down. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what to say, Colton. It's just hot. I'm going to use this, this little yellow pole because we're in shade. We're actually going to do Shady 8. So our base exposure was F16 
at 160th in the sunlight and shade. We actually want to open up to F8 and we're still at 160th of a second. So let's go ahead and make this portrait. One, hold that. Got it. All right, so let's get a few more shots in the shade because uh, it's, it's too hot out here. And so we rocking with Shady 8 right now. I'm gonna have you close right here. In this shot, I'm taking a picture of this sign um, that's actually in shade according to Shady 8. I can get a proper exposure at F8 with a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second. Okay, so same as before, with this as a baseline, I can choose equivalent aperture and shutter speed combinations. For this shot, I actually chose F4 at 1 250th of a second. Okay, so we're here in the studio to share a bit more details on Sunny 16 for two reasons. One, it was way too hot outside, and two, we have AC here in the studio. For more of a visual, check out the scale on screen for additional aperture and shutter speed combinations, which will also give you a solid exposure. Basically, if you open your aperture to one stop wider and change your shutter speed to one stop faster, you'll achieve an equivalent exposure. Yo, Colton, cut back to the scene where we're actually doing this in practice. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna blur out the background a little more. So we're shooting this one at 5.6 at 1 500th of a second, which is the equivalent of F16 at 1 60th. So we got options. You may ask, what if it's not a bright sunny day or if my subject is located in shadows? Not to worry, Sunny 16 has a few cousins. In hazy sunlight, when your shadows have a soft edge, use Hazy 11. When the sun's behind a cloud or your shadows are barely visible or you're exposing for the shaded side of a subject, use Shady 8. And if it's an overcast day with no visible shadows, use Overcast 5.6. An approximate exposure can be achieved by setting your aperture to f11, f8, or f5.6. And always, when in doubt, err on the side of overexposure because your film can handle it. Make sure your shutter speed is set to the reciprocal of the film's ISO or as close as possible. All right, to wrap things up, as a reminder, Sunny 16 is just a guideline to get you started with estimating a proper exposure outdoors without a light meter. Definitely give Sunny 16 a try and stay tuned as we'll be covering how to use light meters in other videos. That's a wrap. It's been real. I'm Henry. Deuces.